Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the various resources available for learning how to create physics simulations in Blender 2.8. So we'll start off with rigid bodies. Surfist Studios has done quite an entertaining video in their usual fashion about basic physics, but despite being labelled as a general introduction to physics, they only really talk about rigid bodies and none of the other object types. It's all explained in a way that's very beginner friendly, plus there are timestamps in the description if there's any specific technique that you want to come back to. Majestic Skies has done a video called Create a Ragdoll in Under 10 Minutes, which does exactly what it says in the title. This video serves as a good introduction to rigid body constraints, so you'll learn how to connect physics objects together and restrict their motion. It's definitely a good complementary video to Surface Studio's introduction to rigid bodies. Blender has a fairly decent system for creating smoke simulations, and there are quite a few resources out there for this, but one thing to keep in mind is that the new Manta Flow system will be adding more functionality for fluid and smoke simulations in the future, so that will be something to keep an eye out for, but we'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. In regards to YouTube content on smoke simulations, Blender Made Easy has done a really nice video that's just over 16 minutes long. This video clearly explains how the major settings work, and also guides you through the process of creating this nice looking render. I need to plug my own content here, because I've also done a video about smoke simulation. In mine, I created a demonstration environment built for the EV rendering engine, which you can of course download for free from the link in the description of the video. As well as this, Olaf3D has created a few different videos on the subject, I'll list a few of them here. All of these are for Blender 2.8 and they'll teach you a range of useful tips and tricks. I particularly like the advanced heavy smoke simulation video, because I think the end result looks really cool. For fluid simulations, there are quite a lot of videos available because it seems to be quite a popular subject. 3D Tinkerer, Blender Made Easy, Olav and the Lewis Art have all done perfectly viable videos on the subject, but they all seem to follow the same pattern of water moving down a tube of some kind and splashing out into a container. One of my favourite ones was Fluid Simulation and Float Particles in Eevee by Blender Made Easy, because I like the effect of the particles on the water. I should also mention the Flip Fluids add-on, which greatly extends to fluid simulation potential of Blender but it's not native to the software and you'll have to grab a copy separately. More information can be found on the Blender Market page. Ok now we're going to move on to cloth. Again I'll mention that I've already done a couple of videos on the subject. One is for regular cloth simulations using a variety of force objects, and the other has more of a focus on using cloth in the context of character artwork, meaning you'll learn how to attach cloth to parts of a body by using the hook system. Again there are free resources to download with each of these videos. CG Boost has also covered cloth simulation in a very beginner friendly way, as part of their freely available beginner course. You might remember that CG Boost is also the creator of the paid launchpad course for Blender 2.8, which got my highest recommendation in my video, The Best Way to Learn Blender 2.8. So it goes without saying that their video on cloth simulation is presented in a very professional way. As well as this, if you're just looking for a super quick introduction of how to get the cloth sim features working in Blender, then I can recommend Mark on 3D's 3 minute crash course video. I really like this one because even though it's really short, he still manages to fit in a good explanation of how vertex pinning and wind forces work. And of course, Olaf 3D has done their own series of cloth simulation videos which are again very informative and easy to follow. Now since we're talking about simulation content, it would be wrong if I didn't take a look at Mantaflow, which is a new fluid and smoke simulation system coming to Blender. If you don't know what Mantaflow is, there's a website where you can find all of the appropriate information. If you're interested in learning more about the implementation of the system, then you can watch Sebastian's talk on the subject at the Blender conference in 2017. In terms of tutorial content for Mantaflow in Blender 2.81 and onwards, Jonathan Cron has been hard at work creating a range of interesting demonstrations. As well as them, Blender Made Easy, who we also mentioned earlier on in the video, has been doing some similar content, but each of these videos brings something different to the table, so I recommend giving them all a watch. Alright, so we're moving on to soft body physics now. Tats by Kai has done quite an engaging video on the subject. It's presented quite simply by making use of the default cube, so it doesn't require much more than a very basic understanding of Blender to follow along. 3D Tinkerer takes a similar approach, but adds a slight degree more complexity with spheres and collisions. And of course, Olaf has done their own introduction to the soft body settings. You'll notice that throughout the video, I've mentioned Olaf quite a few times, and that's because he's really dominated the space of simulation tutorials for 2.8 over the last year. What's more is that he's just come out with a new paid course called Massive Physics Simulations in Blender. Ok before we wrap this up, I should say that of course there will be more videos about simulation in Blender 2.8 that I haven't added in this video, but if there are any other creators you want to share, then feel free to leave them down in the comments. Alright so that's where we're going to leave the video, if you've enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, you can follow me on social media for updates and also join our discord server to take part in discussions, share your work and get sneak previews of upcoming projects. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.